Previously, I made a video to show you how to revive a dead 18650 lithium ion battery using parallel charging method with another good 18650 cell. And uh, this is the follow up video uh, to that video. Someone put in the comment section saying that it was, I was charging these batteries with unlimited current. I did clarify that it is not unlimited current but it depends solely on the battery you're using to charge a dead cell with. In this case, I use an LG cell salvage from a laptop battery. This cell has low discharge rate, around 3 to 4 amps continuous. It can handle probably a bit more than that in short bursts, but around 4 amps continuously. However, the other person is not convinced and uh, insists on saying too much amps. Well, I thought it wouldn't go for more than 4 amps, right? Because this battery would not discharge more than 4 amps continuously. However, I'm curious myself, too, as to how much current would be flowing through these wires if I charge it this way. After all, there's nothing to limit the current, right? Uh, will it be too much? And would it blow up like a bomb? I mean, everything I do involving uh, lithium-ion cells would have some comment about bombs. We can make hydrogen bombs, right? So maybe someday we can also make lithium bomb too. After all, lithium only has two more electrons and protons than hydrogen. They are not too much different, are they? So here we go. So I have the same setup as before. My good cell, the LG cell on this side, that cell on this side. My dead cell voltage is 0 0.7 volts, which is pretty dead. Here we go. You see that it started out about 3.6 amp and then rapidly reduced down to now 2 amp. It has been only about 10 seconds. I put my clock down here too. You can see the time. About 15 seconds in. It goes down to 1.6, 1.5 amp now. Thirty seconds in, 1.2 amp. Let's see what the voltage of the battery is right now. We got 3.3.4 volts now. 45 seconds. 1.6 amp and it's stable at 1.6 1.5 amp so there you go so it's been over three minutes now and uh, I just plugged it in and let it charge continuously and the amperage now goes down to one amp and the battery does get warm but uh, not hot at all see there 26 degrees 27 degrees Celsius Room temperature is about, about 22 degrees Celsius. Room temperature, battery temperature, 27, 28 degrees Celsius. So it gets warm, but doesn't get hot. Uh, a, a lithium, all lithium ion cells, when they are charged, they all get warm. If you charge a, ba uh, a lithium ion cell that stays cold, that means it's dead completely dead or if you charge the cell and it gets really hot uh, I think over 40 45 or even 50 degrees Celsius that's hot that means it's dead also and uh, just unplug it if it gets too hot to a degree if you touch it you feel hot then it's not good but as you can see here it's been four or five minutes now and the amperage goes down continuously go down and the voltage see what the voltage now voltage does go up slowly but does go up so how do you know when you have a bad cell that cannot be revived number one is either stays cold as cash or number two is the other extreme both cells will get really hot it's not just a dead cell you're trying to revive but also the good cell that you're using to charge it will get really hot. The amp stays really high and the voltage does not increase. 
right there you have it i hope that clarified things a little bit and i'll see you next time